Now let's bring in Congresswoman Grace Meng, who represents Queens. Thank you so much for your time tonight, Congresswoman. Thank you for having me. So you were born and raised in Queens, and, and Queens is where we've seen some of the worst hate crimes toward Asian Americans. In New York City, four Asian New Yorkers have died in recent months after being attacked. In the year after that horrific spa shooting, while we've seen more people speaking up about what's happening, why, in your view, have the attacks continued to surge? Well, this is really uh, what we're seeing is a skyrocketing number of incidents in recent years. Uh, we had about two years ago leaders of our country uh, using terms like China, China virus, Kung flu, literally blaming people who look like me uh, for bringing the virus to this country. And that's not going to change overnight. Um, we have a lot of pain and damage to undo. Uh, we were able to work on uh, the COVID-19 Hate Crimes Act a few months ago, and we are waiting for it to be implemented. Uh, but that is only part of the solution. The solution has to be a multi-pronged solution. It has to include uh, public safety uh, solutions and also resources to address people with mental health issues. Over half of the incidents that have happened in New York City uh, were uh, caused by people who need more mental health support. And we've been seeing these countless traumatic videos. We saw one just this week of an Asian woman being hit 125 times there in Yonkers. What goes through your mind when you see this? I just feel so frustrated, angry, and sad at the same time. People are literally afraid to leave their homes. I know people who won't let their kids go to the park. I know mm. people who buy groceries for their parents because they don't want them to leave their front door. And so people are, are really terrified. And you rallied with your colleagues on the Capitol steps today to honor the victims of the Atlanta spa shooting. You also met with the president and vice president last week to talk about the surge in violence against Asian Americans. How can you use your platform in Congress in order to, to try to help your community stop the hate? We have worked on legislation, the Hate Crimes Act, which will make it easier for people to report these incidents and help local entities and community groups find solutions um, and to make sure that law enforcement can have the tools to more effectively investigate uh, these hate crimes. And we are seeing that trickle down to our local communities uh, slowly, um, but of course we're anxious for that to happen um, more quickly. And so many of these attacks, as you well know, have been directed toward Asian women. Uh, we've heard that, that right now many Asian women feel scared to go out at night, scared to take the subway. Uh, what are Asian women like yourself going through in this moment? Well, I really try to never be outside by myself anymore. It's not something that I was scared of in, in years past. Um, but on a legislative level also, we are working in the long term, what we believe is important, to increase education. For too long, including my entire child and adulthood growing up, and I was born and raised in New York, we are often made to feel like we are perpetual foreigners. I get asked consistently where I'm from and where I learned to speak English. And so we want to increase education about Asian Americans and their contributions to this country to remind people that Asians are just as American as anyone else. And you talk about that, that perpetual foreigners. Just uh, in an op-ed this morning in USA Today, you wrote, for too long, Asians have been viewed as invisible and are often seen as foreigners, but we are American too. You represent perhaps the most diverse place in America. Hundreds of languages are spoken in Queens. How does this inspire you every day to keep going? Well, what inspires me is that I see so many diverse stories of people from the Asian American community uh, coming together. We have a long way to go, obviously, but I believe we've made a lot of strides just in this past year or two. Uh, government at all levels have increased funding to Asian American organizations at the city, state, and federal level. And that's money that has long been dispro disproportionately uh, not allocated to our community. So we're making up 
for lost time uh, as well. Uh, and I'm incredibly grateful for so many people beyond the Asian American community who have stepped up and said out loud that they're going to do everything they can to help us combat this bigotry. Representative Grace Meng, we thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you talking with me tonight. Thanks for having me. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.